Yes! This week's Sit Your Ass Down, go to the good folks. You know, before we even do this, we don't like to make fun of people. Yes, you do. We don't like to belittle. I can guarantee goddamn T every sit your ass down from now all the way back in the archives to beginning time was self inflicted. They brought this on themselves. Shout out Kenyon Johnson. We have to do this. We have to tap them on the shoulder. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, they. Whatever you identify as. Please sit your in. ass down. And this sit your ass down. Now, we talked about this one because we don't know if this sit your ass down is a sit your ass down. Because I always say sit your ass down ain't personal. But what if a sit your ass down does a thing that is a per? It's a pet peeve. I'm just going to move let that me, mic away me, from let me, you. Let me turn my uh, stuff off. That's my alert so I can take my So it's sort of like it became personal because this person did something. That I particularly don't like. Okay. But at the same time, they did this on theyself. So let's sit your ass down and go to Chris Martin of Coldplay. I want to make it plain. I like Coldplay. I like Chris Martin. This is the person who went through a consciously uncoupled bullshit and walked away from it. And it was fine. However, Chris, one of my pet peeves of all time. Ever in life. If you cover a song, if you sing somebody else's jam, whether it be a B side or in this case, an egregious A side, where we all love this song, you better do it justice. Chris Martin did not do that. Chris Martin was performing a party at the Hamptons this week and wanted to he, he was he was feeling himself and he wanted to give the crowd a little taste of the new thing he working on Chris Martin from Coldplay yeah, yes that Coldplay decided it's a good thing come on with it Sam decided did you know I love me some Chris Martin decided I like Christmas. To cover Pony by Genuine. Really? Let's go to the videotape. Uh, Pony? What? Okay. All right. Let's stop it right here. Let's stop it right here. Let's stop it right here. Uh-uh. First of all, That's I want uh, no. Oh, okay, we are all That's a huge no. Hold up, That's we are all on the same page. That was all bad. That was a yes for me. That was all. Bad. I love Chris Martin. He can do no wrong. You know Everybody face with the bad light. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I will look at Dominique. I go what? To her face. Nobody else. I'm looking at you. Of all songs. That one is. That one is. That one is. You know what the fucked up thing about that? It's on video. There's so many songs you could have. That was it. He's barefoot. There's that a boy. cello. That boy said, "If you hardy, let's huh. do it." You know what? You know what? Grabbing my pony. You know what bothers me the most? Yeah. Hearing that version of Pony, he is actually talking about a horse. Chris Martin. Stop it. Look, let me let me do this, Chris Martin. I get it. Yeah. Pony, and, I, and I, I'll be straight with you. Pony is a sex song. It is a sex song. But when he sings it, I'm actually thinking about a horse. Chris, there's so many songs in the American songbook that you could have possibly. Cover. 
But in this case, Chris, let's sit your ass down. Chris, I approve of that. That's from him. That's not from me. You know, you're the only fan of that song. I love Chris I don't even think Chris Martin liked that song. Yeah, I love Chris Martin. I really don't like it. You know what? I'm going to replay this to my own detriment. Play it for Brandon. My boy BK. The first sit your ass down. You without the smoke, and that's fine. No, it's not. It's Chris Martin from Coldplay. Who redid... Pony by you J.Y. Like he laid, a minute. Like Hold on, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He I, don't, just doing I don't think you get what just happened. Without hearing the song, my man BK did this. Hell no. No, you didn't. Let him hear it. I thought that was here, here we go. I hit the no, button. Genuine, eh? No. That's Chris Martin from Coldplay. And they harmonize. I'm not mad at that. The amount of rage that's building in my friend right now. <laughs> Waiting. Coming. The amount. On it. You heard the harmony? The amount of rage. That was a strong note. That's a big building end. in my friend. You could have. You could have. You could have did anything. You could have done so many other songs. That would have worked for your voice. Uh, you know what? You know what? But. Give my, man, give my man his time. Come on now. What you guys say about that? That that's clearly sit your ass down worthy. That just sounds like a country version of genuine, and it, it, in my opinion, it shouldn't have been redone. Like who did some uh, things you don't fuck with? Who somebody did a? Uh, I'm just drew a blank, but it was somebody who redid another song that I like very much, okay. and they should not have done it. But still, me and you the same age, right? Or like, or like any remake. There's like, here we go, here we go. Remember, not, here we go. The only person that did a remake of a song that I like. And it really wasn't bad. It's just that I don't like when you touch like classic originals. Yeah. That's when Beyonce did Maze of Frankie Beverly. That was one of those. It was iffy, but I mean, it, we'll it, let it slide. Right. It, uh, it, it's not that she sounded bad. And it's not that the song. It's just not that. It's just, please, just leave that alone. Yeah. Type. Yeah. This one fits in the, okay, more than fits in that category. Please leave it alone. I said where well, you was on the porch. I know that's a sex song. Pony is a euphemism for dick. I get it. In Chris Martin's version, I actually thought of a horse. I'll even go even further. I'll go further. I'll go further with Chris Martin. You know what that was? With Chris Martin versus Genuine. Genuine is a good song. We all love the Genuine version. So much so, my wife left me with Cole from Martin to go talk to Genuine about said song and other I, things. I, I, we didn't talk about the song. We know. I just said, hey, can I take a picture? Honestly. And he was like, we oh, know. Come on, sexy mama. Here we go. I said, okay, Even if that's the case or not the case. <laughs> genuine. Exactly. Hey, okay. Okay. We're on the same page, right? So since we're on the same page, that's how I know it's a good song. You act like he was hunching on me. That song. Okay, can I can I get this? I'm looking at Dominique. Mm -hmm. That sound like the end of rom of a romantic comedy, where they where the guy remembers he's supposed to be with the woman and gotta run and get. Oh, okay. I saw that. It was sad. Okay, you should not be barefoot and sing that song. It just it just didn't. And there's a cello and they got the one black woman. It was all fucked up. I approve of all that of deserves a citrus. Okay. Alright. We all on the same page. No, we're not. Tasha, I don't know why I she's not. I think you just Because you know how I feel about Chris Martin. You asking a lot of me. Look. Ready to plug that in for me okay. right down there okay. on that flow over here. Okay. Wait right there. Wait. The next sit your ass down is something I believe. Oh, you got a lot of plugs over here. I got a room. Hold on. I got I got you. I got you. I believe we can all agree on. Should I do a flip? She's distraught. This hurt dramatic. The next that she has down. She lay down slow motion. I go hit her head. Goes to Terry Crews. She was here like that for like 15 minutes. Terry Crews. Yo, oh, yeah. I'll tell you why. Black muscle man? What's yeah. I like Terry, Terry Crews. I fucks with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He's funny. He's a funny dude. Well, him he he's he's just guy. plain irritating. Terry Crews he, he, is he, uh, entertaining. Uh, no, what is he? Uh, Uncle Tom. But here's where 
his where sit your ass down comes from this week. This week. And only this week. He can redeem himself for this week. For the last two weeks on this podcast, there's been this weird, for lack of a better term, challenge of white people not bathing. Oh, yeah. It started with Mila Kunis and Dex, and, and then Asha Kutcher, and then last week it was Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. The Rock jumped in. Jumping in. Um, I watch these nuts. Uh, was it uh, Jason Momoa jumped in? He also said he watches nuts. Now here's where it gets interesting. <laughs> Out of all of this, you know, not washing your ass controversy. The only black person was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And The Rock, he was on the same panel as somebody else who was asked that question and interrupted them and walked away. This is why Terry Crews is getting such your ass down. No one asked him whatsoever. This was purely a white thing. He volunteered? Not only did he volunteer, he volunteered and said the phrase, Guys, if you didn't sweat, you don't need to shower. Wait a minute, so he inserted himself. Yes, he did. So now, he let the world know. There you go. That now I want to be included in this group because I believe. Now, black people are under the same microscope that we've been talking about for the last three weeks. Why would you assert that? Nobody cares. No, you were not one of the people that. He was so safe. Dominic, he was so safe. I don't know if you know this or not. He was the old Spice Man last year. Yeah, like what? It was so unnecessary. Like, why did you assert your... I bought Old Spice Timber. That's when I say it gives me... Because of Terry Crews. I need you to get that dragon one, darling. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. That's what it's giving me. For the record. You wanted to be included so bad. He got that pick me, that pick me spirit. Like, I pick me... I agree with you. I was here, too. I would like to say this. Like, we, we've said this all night. It's the spirit of Johnny Tryhard. Ain't nobody asked you a goddamn nobody, thing. Nobody. Nobody cares. Okay, wait. You were Do- not on Dominic, the radar. Dominic. <laughs> like, I just need, I need a little grace from you for like two minutes. Because I need to... The reason I say this, I know who my wife is. And I'm going to say a word. And it's going to incite this woman. You heard that, right? Say words. I want that in writing. Say words. I'm looking at you. I'm not looking at her. I'm looking at you. The reason I got Old Spice Timber is because of Terry Crews. Sit down. Okay. My wife loves Capital L. Loves Night Panther. Okay. By Old Spice. It smell like hot sex on the platter. Stop. On the platter. Remember, I looked at you and I said, she going to take the bait. Did I not? I'm keeping that Terry Crews. Now, there's other stuff. I love the Elk Lord. I love the other forms that they have. But if I had to gun to head pick a scent, it's going to be the Night Panther. Okay. It doesn't hurt that my wife likes Night Panther. We are not sponsored by Old Spice, but I like Night Panther and Elk Lord. Terry Crews brought that to us. So you was already in the clear coming in the game. It's so pick me spirit. It's so like it could be. I wanna ooh. do you see me? Hey, I'm the person. I wash my balls too, but if they're not sweaty, I don't be washing them. Like I wanna be inserted. I'm on too. Like every day, even in the winter. Everything ball sweat. It was so unnecessary. I hate. He didn't have to do that. I hate when people insert themselves. You said nothing. Nothing to do with you. Nobody asked your opinion. If you said nothing. Nobody thought to say, "What do you do, Terry?" Nobody included you, but you got included so bad that you say, "I'm gonna hey now make a video saying I agree. I'm here too. Pick me. Why?" 
So Terry, I really do think Chick Terry be trolling though. I do. Like why? Not, no, not no. This had nothing to do with you. Here's the deal. Was you couldn't be this. Um. Here's here's why I know it's this not trolling. This was troll. a white people thing. This they think. It was such a white people thing. Like you ain't never seen that one black person come out and say, "Hey, I don't wash the my ass." The only either. reason. Like, what? Hold up, and, I, and I'll even be fair. Even if they don't watch their booty. I'll be fair. You know what I'm saying? The Rock. The <laughs> only reason The Rock answered the question, somebody asked and he's standing next to him. And they looked at him and he said, before you even ask, I shower three times a day. I use this, bam, well, no, third. But he got up and said, I'm not going to let y'all keep asking. I'm going to walk out. There you go. I don't have to. Hey, before I get up out of here. <laughs> before I get up. I'm going to yeah, and I, I'm leaving. Y'all ain't nobody about to come back and ask another question. They asked Aquaman. Like oh. Aquaman, Ooh, Dead Cruz. Y'all are weird. Man, sit so your dumb. ass down. And lastly, certainly not leastly, gotta give a shout out. I like asking my good friend a question every podcast. Hey, BK, man, not for nothing. Yeah, the governor's here. It's Florida in the house. Yeah, the governor's here. Believe it or not, this is those one few times. Florida's not in the house. That doesn't mean next week they're not going to show up with some bullshit. Mm -hmm. But today, and only today, it's not a Florida store. Oh, really? This is not a Florida store. What about that, Jay? I've researched this. It is different. This is from Sal Palto, California. Say, how you say that? Let me see that. Did I say that right? You did. Let me see. That's San, like Santa. Hold up. This goes to one of them. One of them. Can I read it? But it also, hold on, but it also happened in um, Hawaii. No, just that. that, that okay, wait. Before y'all start shitting on my boy, <laughs> let's be honest about one thing. I, I'll be honest about one thing. Yeah. I met him in the fourth grade. He always had an issue with enunciation. That did not necessarily mean he didn't know what the word meant. I'm from the south, y'all. It seemed like for the words that he do. No, the words that he don't know or have trouble with, he just say them very. I just say the best words I can. Absolutely. He always had trouble with the word less. Always had issues with the word less. I just say the best way I can. But he always had issues with the word less. Either way. I appreciate it. This sit your ass down. College course on that. Hold on, watch this. Watch this. Watch out. Watch out. Change the entire. Uh, me up, I'm going to change the entire mind of the ladies in this room with one word. This goes, this is chance now, goes to Norbert. Norbert? And Trevor Chung. That is his name. Norbert A. Trevor Chung. No, Norbert and Trevor and Chung. Trevor Norbert Trevor. And the father and son duo. Okay. Because these two tourists was going to Hawaii from San Palto. California, one of them. You look it up. Google. Fine. Over the weekend, and they got arrested after authorities said they violated the state coronavirus restrictions of falsifying vaccine cards, which is true. Okay. The Hawaii AG, Attorney General, for people who don't know, said that Norbert and Trevor, both who are from the U.S. mainland, were detained at Honolulu's Daniel, you know what, I'm not even going to try that word. That is a I'm word. I'm not even going to try that word. I'm here to help, honey. What's the word? Let's see if she can do it. In Nakway? Just say it real slow. In Luye? Are you confident in what you just said? We're in Nauye or in Nuye? <laughs> Airport on Sunday after receiving a tip from the community member prior to their arrival. Gary, you know what? One more time. I'm not trying that one either. Gary Yamashiroya. How confident do you feel in that? That's what they say, Gary. All right, then. I'm not. Okay. Or Yamashiroya. A spokesperson. See, see, I do this every day. Y'all shit on me. I don't. All right. The spokesperson for the AG of Claire Counters said that the two men falsified their vaccine cards. They had false vaccine cards. So they had to be detained and sent back to LAX. Right. Now, here's where it gets sit your ass down worthy. They were given the option to just take the test. Your test. You're sitting right there. 
You're, she, you want to go to Hawaii? She put the yeah, take the test. <laughs> now, here's where it gets even sit your ass down worthy earth. When they got detained, guess what they had to do? Okay. Take the goddamn test! <laughs> But they presented, such as, they presented these cards that was falsified, and the such as down worthiness of this, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Just say, hey, you know what, I ain't got it. Swap my nose, whatever. I'm waiting in the first place. So now they hit with a felony assault for falsifying medical records. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that is going to cost them the lump sum of five thousand dollars a piece. Yeah. And that's here's where it gets even such as down worthy earth. They were detained, they found this stuff out, and they got sent back to LAX and saying word I can't pronounce. That's why you got the producer here. Mm-hmm. So they never went to Hawaii. They never got a chance to frolic, get on them beaches. They never got a chance to do any of that. All because all they had to do, look, I ain't got my stuff. Let me just take this quick test. We straight. Pretty easy, right? So to the father-son duo of Norbit and Trevor Chung, sit your ass down. You took the tw- test twice. 